Here we have problem um, 24 through 26. So number 24 says, use the given zero to find the remaining zeros. So here's the polynomial we were given and here's the zero we were given. Well, if we want to divide this, we can use synthetic division, which means I will use the zero that I was given and then I will use only the coefficients here. So I have x cubed, I have x squared, I have x, and I have my constant. There are no missing um, terms there, so I don't have to fill in anything with a zero. Then if I bring down the first number and multiply those together, I get negative eight. Then three plus a negative eight is negative five. Negative four times negative five is 20. Negative nine plus 20 is 11. Negative 4 times 11 is negative 44, and then 44 plus a negative 44 is 0. So if we got 0 as the remainder, which is what we anticipated in order for this to be called a quote-unquote 0. Um, but what we have here left is that um, we now have this remaining, which means this is the same thing as saying... 2x squared minus 5x plus 11. And if I want to find the other zeros to this, I need to figure out when this quadratic equals 0. Now if you can factor this, fantastic. If you cannot factor it, then you need to use your quadratic formula. Um, I do not believe this is going to factor. There are no factors of 22 that will add to give me 5. So I'm going to go ahead and use my quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus four times a times c, the whole thing over two times a. So I'm gonna get a positive five plus or minus the square root of negative five squared minus four times two times 11. So I get negative squared is 63 over four. Um, I can take this negative out by using an i because the square root of a negative is imaginary. Um, and then you could try to reduce the square root. So the square root of 63 is 9 times 7 and the square root of 9 does exist. So we get x equals 5 plus or minus 3 which is the square root of 9. Um, square root of 7 over 4 and then I don't think that that's going to reduce any so I actually have two um, solutions here we were already given one zero and we were only asked to find the remaining zeros so our answers are 5 plus 3i square root of 7 over 4 and 5 minus 3i square root of 7 over 4 and so those are our two solutions. Now, for numbers 25 and 26, it says for the function f of x, 3x minus 9, and g of x equal to 2x squared plus x, find the following, f of g and g of f. So f of g means I'm going to have the f function on the outside and the g function on the inside. So what that means is I'm going to write the f function, this thing here, but instead of x, I'm going to put a giant blank. So this is the function f, but without anything plugged in for x. Now notice inside the parentheses it says g of x. So what I'm going to do is inside this parentheses, I'm going to put g of x. But what is g of x equivalent to? g of x is equivalent to 2x squared plus x. So this is what I need to simplify. If I distribute my 3, I will get 6x squared plus 3x and the minus 9 will come down. That is as far as I can simplify it since there are no more like terms. Now for 25, this is rewritten as g of f of x. So notice g is on the outside now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the g function, but instead of plugging in x, I'm going to leave a big empty parentheses. And then what's inside that parentheses should be f of x. But what is f of x equivalent to? f of x is equivalent 
to 3x minus 9. And then here I do have to do some simplifying. In order for me to square a binomial, that means to take that binomial and multiply it to itself. So I'm going to work from the back, I'm going to multiply these two, and then I'll distribute the two later. So we get 9x squared minus um, 27x minus 27x plus 81 plus 3x minus 9 over here on the other side. Then if I distribute my 2, I will get 18x squared minus 54x minus 54x plus... Um, 81 times 2 is 162 and here there's no exponent or coefficient to distribute so we'll just have 3x minus 9. So if I combine my like terms I should end up with oh that was plus 3. negative 105x and then 162 minus 9 is positive 153. And so this is the expression that we get for g of f.